People say I'm just doing the ascent and I always admonish them saying it's not just the ascent, you're doing something amazing. It's kind of always been the, the poor steps sister of, of the marathon, but when you put in the, the climbing, the elevation, the ascent in its own right is, is, a, is a marathon. I mean, 14,000 feet is insane. And you just gotta be willing to suffer, mostly, I think. Like, you get towards the top and it's gonna be hard and you just gotta keep those feet moving. I'm excited for the challenge and excited to be here. So the transition from track to trail has been, I don't want to say hard, but it's very different. When you're doing high altitude and doing trail, there's that element of you have to like keep moving, keep putting one foot in front of the other when it's really hard and it's kind of hard to fake. You still have to like run over the barriers when you're really tired in the steeple. You can't fake that. So it's still that sort of agility aspect of it. So I think it translates fairly well. We'll see, I don't know. I remember after winning in 2014, the newspaper, apparently I said this, I was like, it feels so good to win on my mountain. And my dad still makes fun of me for that, but I feel like um, just growing up in Colorado Springs and loving the incline, I feel like it is my turf a little bit. And I know that sounds so bad right now because there's a lot of locals here, and, um, but it is the mountain I feel most comfortable on. To be able to look from the st start, and look up and you can see the summit 13 miles away. And then to come back down and think, I ran up there, you know, it is very impressive. Runners, ready, set, go! City of Manitou Springs, the government really goes all out to support us in this way. I mean, we're we're taking over their town, we're shutting down their streets. They they help us and accommodate us. So, put puts Manitou Springs on the map internationally as far as one of the top mountain running courses in the world. Last year we held the marathon, but because for the ascent, we pile everybody in vans, and during COVID, we would have had to have either twice as many vans or take twice as long to get people down if properly distanced and masked. And it just, it just wasn't feasible. Plus, you know, there was all the issues of the summit construction, the new summit house up there, the roads. Well, the new Summit House is just, it's the pride of Manitou Springs, Colorado Springs. It's, it's a very environmentally friendly building. It, it's beautiful, big windows. If people come to Colorado and Colorado Springs, go up and see our Summit House. We're very proud of it. Tomorrow it should be a, a very good day. There's even a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon, but that's, that's usual. So we know how to deal with that, and hopefully they're not severe.
did not focus so much on altitude racing this year, and so that kind of bites you in the butt a little bit. So I knew not to race aggressive today, not to go for anything crazy, and especially with the weather, I knew let's just be smart today. Just after a bar, I started feeling wind a little bit, and I was like, man, we shouldn't be feeling it this early. Like, if we could feel it this early, that means we're gonna be in trouble once we get above tree line. And sure enough, I mean, I, was, I wasn't even sweating at that point. I started to dry off just from the wind, and I was like, oh, man. But uh, yeah, by the time we were above tree line, it was what it was. You were cold, and uh, it was windy, and everyone had to deal with it, so it was, <laughs> it was a battle up there. and it was kind of a sprint finish, but there was no line because of the weather. And so I think both of us like ran as best we could, but we didn't really know, we're like, is that the finish? I think we got the same time technically, fun. but I think Allie, Allie did step over the line before me. I think every year I forget how hard the race is, especially the last like three or four miles above tree line. Um, and it's never like that steep compared to like about Washington or Speed Goat, but it's a constant grind. So it almost plays like an ultra, which I think a lot of people underestimate. I think I come out every year and I think it's gonna be easier than it is, but it's always a fun race um, in our backyard. We went out pretty hard and um, at about two miles, the two girls I was with, they passed me and I just did not feel good. My legs hurt, my stomach hurt. But I was just like, just keep going. And then after bar camp, I, um, I caught them, which felt so good. And they were they were so sweet and loud, like saying good job and stuff, but you could tell that they probably overdid it. So I felt really confident and then I just kept going. I felt really good. And then at about like three months, two, miles ago I started getting dizzy and it was like oh gosh and then Ashley maybe like half a mile ago I started seeing her and I was like oh we just got to keep going and um, she even yelled good job behind me I was like oh that's really sweet Yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs>